So, to learn a ginger flip, what I would suggest is learning a palm flip first. The reason is you get comfortable doing flips on the wall with your hands, so the ginger is going to be a lot easier. I also learned this trick by starting off doing one-handed palm flips and also like using the wall at an angle, so if the wall's here, pushing off like that. So then I don't have the drop to worry about, I just practice like that. But today I'm going to be showing you with a tiny little drop. So once you're comfortable with palm flips or one-handed palm flips or whatever you want to do, then you're ready to take it to the obstacle. What I'm going to show you is jumping off it with two feet. So I'm going to be jumping off of the obstacle like this, then putting my hand on. If you don't know which hand to use, what I like to use as a rule to figure out which hand to push off of is to figure out which way you spin. So if you spin towards the right, you'd probably use your right arm. So if you want to do ginger flip full one day, you push and twist on the same direction versus pushing and twisting the other, which will look a lot weirder. So if you want to figure out which hand to use, you can use that rule, but it's not a guarantee since I can do this trick with both hands. So I can do it with my right or my left. So I spin towards my left, but right now I'm going to be showing you with my right hand. So what you want to do is as you jump, you kind of swing your arms like this and bend your knees to jump. And you want to make sure not to jump too high because then that just adds to your drop. So you're going to jump and as you swing your arms, one's going to get height, but the other is going to go towards the obstacle. You can also dive a little more if you're more comfortable by going like this. So once your hand is on the obstacle, then it's going to absorb a little from the jumping towards it. So I'm going to go like this, it's going to absorb and then I'm going to push. You want to make sure not to do it too much like this because then that will make it much harder. So you're just going to absorb just a tiny bit to get a push. Once you push off of the obstacle with your hand, what you need to make sure is that your hips stay forward. So some people will have a hard time doing this and they'll twist their hips towards the obstacle. Then your knees might hit and it gets a lot scarier. So at this point you're going to push and bring your knees to your chest while making sure that you keep going forward because if you don't then you're going to land back on the obstacle you're jumping off of. So you're going to be going forwards, push knees to the chest. You, want, you don't want to bring your chest to your knees because then you'll go into a front foot motion and it makes it a lot harder. So knees to the chest and the rest is pretty much like a back foot. So after you get the good push off the wall then you can just bring your hand to your knee and the other one's going to be already there and treat the rest like you're doing a slight gainer forward. So then you're just going to tuck as tight as you can and when you see the ground halfway in the flip, just like you do for a back flip, you're going to start to open up and then land. Let me show you guys a few examples. 